Hello everyone. Lately, I've seemed to obtain a brand new addiction. I cannot stop watching this and it's driving me insane and I thought it'd be great to watch on the channel. Here's my gourmet chip if this has any indication of what we're about to watch. Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. I've sort of stumbled across this one titled Gordon's Most Heated Argument. And let's begin. Moorpark, California. Gateway to wine country luxury golf courses and booming real estate a great location for a restaurant but the mm. secret garden is mm -hmm. on the brink of financial ruin the secret garden you're calling the secret garden may I help you my name is michelle i'm the chef michelle the secret garden am i a good chef that's a great name i think so all right we'll see what gordon ramsay has to say about that so you got to uh, excuse my arrogance oh god look at the kitchen when I lose my temper, it's time for you to run. You told me already earlier you were gonna compete and they have to leave. Michelle oh. just may blow up and say, What are you doing? You want okay. To I will scream at everybody. Michelle's arrogant, it's French, she's a chef. All chefs are arrogant. You know what? Stop repeating, okay? French people enjoy the quality of life a little more than the Americans. <laughs> I smell. Michelle can be very, very uh, difficult to work with. He seems to be. Serve that. That cannot sit. He's got an ego the size of France. As soon as it's ready. Come on, I need that Let's pick it. This is the kind of restaurant that you take your grandma out for a nice meal. It's not really the happening Saturday night spot. Okay, so old people come to the Welsh restaurant. I can only imagine what his books must look like. Only $200. That's not going to pay the bills again. I have about... 300 to 320,000 dollars in debt. Oh, pretty much every single restaurant that we see on Gordon Ramsay is that they're in debt, like crippling debt. Here he is. This is where the fun begins. They cook for him and he spits it out in their face. It's hilarious. Huh? It's locked. But it says welcome. The restroom is unlocked though. That's how you get oh my god. God, where is everybody? Hello, is anyone here? A frog. It's probably locked for a reason, Gordon. <laughs> Morning. Hello. How are you? And you are Jane. Jane. Good to see you. Uh, where's Chef? Chef's here. Okay. What the hell is this, bro? Morning. Welcome. How are you, Michelle? How are you? He is. had to walk into the kitchen. I finally got in. Couldn't find the front door. <laughs> the front door is up the parking lot. Well, I mean, I couldn't find it. So it's best kept secret in Moore Park. Oh, he didn't like that. You've been running the restaurant for seven years. Seven years, yes. God, and how long has it been quiet for? Oh, at least he's honest. Okay, well, I'll go and sit in the restaurant. Right, it's almost ready, Jane. I feel like inviting my grandma for lunch. Could you not have got a bigger basket? <laughs> my God. What is that, bro? I feel sorry for that poor, lonely bread roll in there. Let me just have a look at it before. Bread roll. Bread roll. like saying a prayer. So, uh... It looks very sad. What do you mean the bread is almost ready? You you just pulled a bread roll out of a packet, bro. I think it's all good. Thank for that. <laughs> the cab fresh. No, it's canned. It's canned. Oh. We'll can that one then. Lady spinach oh, salad got with strawberries, goat's cheese, asparagus, hard-boiled egg, and grilled garlic and shrimp. Oh, that is like everything that I hate, all mashed into one thing. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> I don't like shrimp either. So maybe the reason why no one's at his restaurant is because of the menu. <laughs> oh my god. Eat it. Eat it, Gordon. Oh, That's disgusting. I'll wait for the next course. <laughs> Eat it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Sadly, the uh, prawns are uh, stone cold and undercooked. Okay. Hey. Oh, there are people. I wonder what they're ordering. Yeah, I wrote for stuff and AP, stuff and pink. Thank 
you. I have absolutely no idea what she said. Thank God for the subtitles. What is that, dude? Oh my God. As tough as old boots. Based Gordon Ramsay. Yum. The play was interesting, especially with a chip. Gordon gave us a scathing review. Thank you. He's like cowering away from it. Dirty, and it's just bad. I mean, really crap. Your carrots were raw. Your steak was tough, and your uh, shoestring potatoes was a big ball of grease. Big ball of grease. Nightmare at Grandma's house. <laughs> Oh, he's done. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. He usually has three things. I guess he counted the bread. I thought your food was crap. Tasteless, bizarre. Your food was long winded, boring, and just, you know, badly done. Honestly, I've never seen anyone talk to Michelle in the way Ramsey talked to him. As a waitress, I Ramsey isn't scared. The only complaint I might get is a food cold. Jane. I'm not asking you to blow smoke up his asshole. I've just sat there for the last hour and had one of the worst meals I've ever eaten. That's a matter of opinion. Oh, God. Oh. You know, are you that fucking arrogant? A matter of opinion. No, not being that arrogant. If you're such a passionate chef, then you are a natural because you're French and yes. you, know, you love cooking. Yes. Why are you serving tin crab meat? Um, tin crab, the main reason is because the restaurant is quiet. I buy fresh crab. Goes bad really fast, so I have to buy this, uh, this crap. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get inside your mind so I can start breaking down. Okay. The how stupid you are. <laughs> I don't think he likes Michelle. Thank you for the critique. I love him. Twats. He's so far up his own ass, he can't even fucking breathe anymore. Oh, the tension is rising. Day two. After being disappointed with the food, Gordon now inspects the kitchen. Okay, uh, Michelle's not here. I want to have a good look around and just find out what's in the fridges. Who is that, man? Uh, Michelle's not here. I want to have a good look around and just find out. <laughs> Who's this? In the fridges. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, ew! Don't touch that, bro. When was the last time that was clean? Oh my God! Oh, oh. Ew, what is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Look, there are the bread rolls. Oh, what is that? Why is that? Been in this fridge for so long, even the fridge has now started to go moldy. Look, just Oh, look at that. Oh, he's right. Oh. It's real mold. How is he touching this? How is this not a biohazard, man? It's been here that long. Even the bottle's moldy. Place is a health hazard. God damn. Maggots. Oh. Uh, uh. Maggots. Oh. Uh. God. oh my Jesus Christ. I thought the pigeon was bad, bro. That definitely wasn't staged at all, guys, by the way. <laughs> clean kitchen, clean food. Yeah? I want it spotless. I think they need to be wearing hazmat suits for this, yeah, Gordon. The kitchen looked gross. It's good to see Michelle scrubbing. He's beginning to show some skills in a kitchen. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> Ruthless. the cleanliness of the kitchen is up to Gordon's standards. It's time for him to check out a full dinner service. All right, let's Maybe do it. Full dinner service. One table. When you walk in and there's nothing, it's kind of like a slap in the face. They're all old. Customers, a little on the stale side, but customers nonetheless. <laughs> well, on the stale side. A puny appetizer is that? Oh my God, bro. Can I <laughs> too long to cook. Dickhead. The scallops, crusted. Do I have the chili garlic crusted salmon? Crusted. So 
It's all crud. Ugh. Crusted. Lower box up. Crusted. And if you lay that, uh, stuck. I like the. <laughs> the the one thing, the fillet. A Mercedes Benz. Unbelievable. You know, there's one thing about being bad that's solvable, but being in complete denial throughout, it's extraordinary. Exactly. I've never met such a fucking hard ass, stubborn bullshitter in all my life. Wow. They really don't like each other. Nope. Medium rare. Looks perfect. Even with few diners in the dining room, Michelle's stubbornness continues to create problems in the kitchen. Like that's. What? Michelle wants to be the star of the show. Let me worry about it, please. I understood, Chef. I could have been yes, doing chef. more, but Michelle wouldn't let me. I got you. I got it. I got it. I got it. If a chef is too good, Michelle does get a bit jealous. Mm. Let's see what's happening in the dining room. Mm. Okay. With Michelle headed towards the dining room, sous chef Devin takes over. Oh! I'm a machine and I'm all over the place. Yes, Devin. Is finally getting out. He's locked in. Oh my God! Look at him go. First time you've been here before. First time. Yeah, no one, no one would have been here before and came back. Okay, <laughs> like everyone is gonna say it's my first time. I've seen a man that I think is far more in love with himself than he is with his restaurant. Okay. Hmm. Tomorrow we start working together. Now yes. Gordon knows how to read people. Clear understanding, chef to chef, and I want to see some passion. Why has he got a crowbar? How you turn up to work so late? I'm not closing down. This bullshit. How they get this audio? Good morning. This is not funny. I'm pissed. Good. Good. You've got every reason to be pissed. I'm, I'm glad you're angry. Yeah. Finally woken up. Now I've done this for a reason. Just think how bad it would be for your business to close. I don't see anything constructive here. It's a small town. Ten people drove by and guess what? They're gonna be advertising on TV. Oh, the restaurant is not doing well. No. You okay, idiot. If the restaurant he is so dumb. Down, I don't know what I would do. That'd feel almost a shame. But for this restaurant to truly turn around, it starts with the menu. Simple food, no frills, straightforward, good flavor, and getting customers coming back once a week, not once a year. Yes, Gordon, good intention. Hey, everybody, every time we touch something tonight, we're going to be tasting. Yes, sir. Everything. Now, Gordon is going to teach Michelle some simple money making specials to put on the menu. Okay, so first dish is be a roast chicken. Roasted, simple, and bang, out, yeah? Okay. Nothing fancy. Nice and easy. There's a lot of things, just because we've been doing them forever does not mean we've been doing them the right way. Nothing too yes, I like him. He's, he's smart. Trying to simplify how we work faster, cleaner, and better. He doesn't like this. There's the four specials. Onion gratin, tuna niçoise, roasted chicken. That looks fresh, good. Local asparagus, warm tart. Yes? The roast chicken is, looks incredible. Everything else I probably wouldn't touch. I was voted best chef in Conejo Valley. Are you the only chef? What can I get for you, sir? The uh, French onion soup, the special. special. The French onion soup mm, right would actually taste good as well. Yes. Because the responses I get off all my customers is the food is great here, we love it. Cheers. Yes. Up the Gordon Ramsay. To meal service, and the specials are proving to be very popular, but orders are starting to back up in the kitchen. Price four. No, 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 not yet. Here we go. Table four. Is this table four? Table four. What is table four? Is this table four? I don't know. No. And now the chicken is. To run the food to. The, the, the food's sitting there too long. Oh my god. It was going so well. Gordon needs to get in there. Alright. 
location wasn't quite there from the kitchen. There's not enough potatoes for the special. There's not enough eggs for the special. And no one's communicating. We're telling you you have nothing left. We're still ordering them. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I've got some specials to tell you about. We've got a warm asparagus tart. It's topped with a mixed green. Very delicious. Special they sold out within 40 minutes of being on the menu. And now, Michelle's not communicating. We're ordering food and we haven't even got it. Right, okay. And now, instead of turning a profit with their new specials, they're giving food away. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have to hold back five minutes. It was just chaos. Everybody panicked. I'm getting frustrated. You want to push me in the kitchen, I will scream. Dude, he's yelling in lowercase. He's not even scary. Yell back at him. Yell back at him. My God, what? What are you talking about, bro? The most disorganized restaurant in America tonight. Pick up, Jane. Let's go. Let's go. They're walking out. No, I'm loaded over. No, 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 no. Come here. You have no guts. Where's Jane? I can't do it. Yeah, no. It's not okay. It all got blown up in our face today. I just am a little bit overwhelmed. Day four, relaunch day. And time for Gordon to start implementing his plan. They're rebooting the kitchen, the remastering it. Decor. Look around. This is like walking into a funeral parlor. What does this do in a restaurant? Look at the mess of it. That thing gives the charm of the antique. It's not. This is going. That is going. I want to get rid of that stuff. Here we go. Chef, right behind you there. I'm opening up your eyes and making the room more spacious. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Bye, Grandma! Michelle, first impressions? Completely different. It's not the secret garden anymore. Oh my god! It's a totally different restaurant. Do you think the dining room looks younger? Yes, yes it does. Yes. Are you worried about that? Uh, big time. I don't want to destroy what I have. I want to improve what I have. Can you give me two minutes, please, with uh, Chef Michelle? The few customers that we have, I think they're going to come in, they're going to go, you know, this is different, I like yeah. it. Instead of helping my business, you might hurt my business. Give me a chance. Okay. Give me fucking chance. I'm not too crazy about the changes, but... Let him cook, let's see dude. what he can do, what he can bring to the restaurant. Literally, with let him cook. <laughs> e. So they're only opening for dinner now. Uh, I'm guessing we'll just while yeah? Gordon's there. Night's dinner service, gone are the crusted dishes oh my dishes god oh and strawberry salad and in their place are i've done the filet mignon the tuna niçoise <laughs> Pardon me. the local beet salad the pan roasted chicken breast and then yep. the double cut pork chop um, any questions on the menu that's brilliant that, that's a really brilliant idea double cut pork chop yum it's relaunch night at the secret garden and the onslaught of new customers is putting michelle and his team to the test mike Come right here, please. Right away. This is an important night. We have food critics. We have important people in the restaurant. We can let it fall apart. Unexpectedly, um, a large bus has turned up from a local vineyard, so it's caused pandemonium. A bus of 24 people that came? It's craziness. It's it's happening. Seven, onion soup ordering. Onion soup ordering. I will be getting the onion Michelle soup. has cleared his first hurdle, and the rush of customers has been taken care of. But the secret garden faces another challenge. Of course. Jane, have you spotted the food critic yet? Any idea who she is, no? Yeah, she's actually, um, she's actually on a table of five now. She joined four other people. Oh, really? Is that table ten? Yes. Okay. That is the one we give the biggest shit about. <laughs> Okay, in one minute. Yeah, they're gonna panic and um, yeah. Take that out. Jesus. Take it out now. Dude, you wanna actually taste the food? Oh, she got an earpiece in. 
And it's way more obvious than Gordon, so they've obviously told her. Incredible critiquing of the food, food critic. Some of the food came back. The tuna was over salty. I was sweating. I was shivering. No, but let's offer them something else instead. I did. They don't want anything else. The new menu, it's good, but it's not good enough. We have to make it good enough. Yeah, I apologize for that. If I give you uh, one of my signature dish, um, is that going to make you feel a little bit better? Uh, yeah, something just to balance the tartness. You know, uh -huh. oh, thank you very much. Thank you for giving me another chance. Yeah. You know, I'll get a little more used to the menu. It's a brand new menu for me also. Not an excuse, but it's always a little harder. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm pissed. It's so awkward. Hello, yes, but you like something else. We have a new menu, but that's not an excuse. It's just a new menu, and I don't like it. But thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Hey. Jesus Christ, dude, he's worse than me. Mr. Big Chef shouldn't be in the kitchen. The guy's not a chef. With the restaurant. Oh! You know? You're a donkey. My food has been voted best chef in uh, Inventory County. What? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't 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 push let, me finish. let me finish. Don't push you the finger. Put your fucking hands up here. Listen to me. You run a shit hole of the kitchen. Fuck yourself. No. Okay? No. no. Fuck off! Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you work like a pig? Oh! Yeah, it's big! Yeah, you know what? You're lazy pig! Yeah, big You're word. so full of shit! Open your eyes big and look, mouth. look round! Big mouth! You're not happy? I'm fucking happy! You, you can get out! Go on! You can get out! Fuck yourself! You can get out! Fucking <laughs> kitchen! Yeah, is it? Where's your fucking kitchen and cleaner, you lazy cunt? It's Whoa! Secret garden, and Chef Michelle is in he is angry! And as the week progressed, changes clearly began to take hold. If we all spend half an hour cleaning, this kitchen becomes spotless. Michelle is committed to kitchen hygiene. He also promoted Jane to manager. I think she needs the keys of the restaurant with the manager title. Tonight, Jane is the manager. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the manager. I am the bitch of the place. Gordon's <laughs> plan was a success. And now the secret garden is no longer a kitchen nightmare. And more importantly, customers are leaving happy. I'm feeling the love. You really do have something special. Please do not screw it up. The restaurant has improved immensely. Ramsay succeeded. Dude, manager. If we can't be successful now, then we're all idiots. Too bad it shut down. It's very sad to see Gordon leave. It's really helped us. I think we are at the beginning of a very, very successful year. No regrets. Thank you. No regrets. Promise. Promise. You still hate me? Oh, yes. I yes. Do. Good. <laughs> was a very stressful few days, but I think we all survived. I think it's all for the better. The secret is out. Go. Michelle finally learned the cardinal rule Love of the Gordon. You serve your customers, not yourself. Cool, nice little episode there. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed watching Gordon Ramsay uh, call someone a French pig, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Until then... Goodbye.